Hi all, let's check the breaking news, Arsenal signing top class player, Manchester City player got injured, Manchester United player wants to sign Barcelona player. Welcome to Footballist, for the latest football news and transfer updates, please subscribe the channel, if you like the video kindly like and support us. Newcastle have announced that Sandro Tunnelly will be able to play again on August 28 after serving a 10-month suspension for betting. Lamin Yamal's father, Moni, is now in stable condition after being stabbed in a parking lot on Wednesday, with the situation being under control. Real Madrid players congratulating Luka Modric for being the most decorated player in club history. Several Premier League clubs are keeping an eye on Newcastle midfielder Bruno Guimaraes, with Manchester City showing strong interest, though Arsenal is also in monitoring the situation. Chelsea is very open to the sale of Raheem Sterling, which would offload his huge salary. The player is fully focused on the new season under Enzo Moresca. Manchester United are keen to sign Frankie de Jong, but must convince player and meet Barcelona's 60 million euro valuation. Alali have presented Tony with an enticing three-year contract valued at approximately 18 million euros per year. This huge offer highlights Saudi Arabia's ambition to attract top talent from Europe's leading leagues as they work to enhance their competitive stature. Newly promoted side Ipswich Town have signed 28-year-old Calvin Phillips from Man City on a one-year loan deal. There is no buy option, the English midfielder still has four years left on his deal at the Etihad. Negotiations are currently underway between Napoli and Manchester United regarding a possible loan deal for Scott McTominay. Arsenal is nearing the completion of Mikel Marino's transfer from Real Sociedad, with negotiations focusing on the final details of the payment terms. The Gunners are reportedly getting closer to finalising the deal, and the player has been persuaded by Mikel Oteta to make the move to North London. Former Tottenham, PSG, and Chelsea coach Mauricio Pochettino has agreed to become the new head coach of the USA national team. AS Roma and AC Milan are both interested in Federico Chiesa, who has been banished from the first-team squad at Juventus. He is not part of Thiago Motta's plans. Atletico de Madrid have rejected a €45 million Euro proposal from Chelsea for Joao Felix. Atletico wants €60 million Euros to sell him. Chelsea have set an asking price of £60 million for any clubs interested in signing Noni Maduk. The Red Devils are now reportedly on the hunt for a new midfielder and have had a long-standing interest in PSG's Manuel Ugarte. Although personal terms are rumoured to be agreed upon, the two sides are currently at an impasse over the transfer fee. Manchester United might also face disappointment with their target Yusuf Fofana for the second consecutive year. While Eric Ten Hag could consider the Monaco midfielder Fofana, AC Milan have reportedly made an offer, potentially leading to another rejection for United, who were previously turned down by the 25-year-old last summer. Fans have harshly moped Cristiano Ronaldo after it was revealed what the Portuguese superstar said to himself before another unsuccessful free kick. Before taking the shot, Ronaldo confidently declared in Portuguese, I'm the best. While this self-assurance might not have surprised his fans, it was followed by a comical miss that didn't even force the opposing goalkeeper to move. This led many football supporters to joke about his blunder, with one commenting, this brother is finished, accompanied by a crying emoji. City's preparations for the new season have been significantly hampered by a training ground injury sustained by Bob to his fibula on Wednesday. The Norwegian, who had been a standout performer during City's pre-season and was expected to start the Premier League opener against Chelsea this weekend, now faces a setback. Having been named player of the match in Saturday's Community Shield win over Manchester United, Bob seemed poised to secure a regular spot on Pep Guardiola's right wing. Oscar Bob is flying to Barcelona for surgery on his fractured leg and could potentially make a return to Manchester City before Christmas. Do you think Arsenal can win the Premier League title this season? Share your comments on this. These are the updates for today and thanks for watching.